Good afternoon, good morning, or good evening, ladies and gentlemen. As Piria mentioned, my name is Sara Ahrari and I'm Simavi WASH program manager. Uh, today I would like to share with you a, a mapping a study of socially inclusive strategies and approaches in WASH programs of a selection of organization active in WASH sector, which was conducted under our watershed program, aiming at increasing our own knowledge, but also sharing it with uh, other actors in the WASH sector. First of all, I would like to share with you the process that we uh, followed for developing the studies. The first step was developing a, a conceptual and operational framework. Uh, to define the main concepts such as social inclusion, social exclusion, marginalization, equity, equality, and in their interrelations. An operational framework was further developed to translate the conceptual framework into a set of critical issues and questions for addressing social inclusion in each of the different stages of the program cycle. After developing these two frameworks, 10 international development organizations with extensive experience and or explicitly formulated programs for social inclusion in the WASH sector were selected from a long list of 27 organizations based on a web-based study. These organizations included a Swedish International Development Agency, World Bank, PLAN, GIZ, uh, Water Supply and Sanitation Collaboration Council, Water Aid, BRAC, and a Dutch uh, drink water company called FAI, based on their Waterworks program. The sample, uh, the sample of selected organizations uh, then were interviewed, and then uh, the tools and uh, approaches that they had were also uh, studied based on the uh, operational framework that we had developed. Uh, after uh, the drafting the first uh, report, uh, the, the draft report, on 5th uh, July, we validated the report with the representative of these organizations and uh, finalized the report with uh, their comments and launched the report during the uh, Stockholm World Water Week. I would like to emphasize that uh, this report by no means reflects the wealth of the approaches that exist out there. It also stays a working document, so if any of you have any comments, please don't hesitate to share it with me uh, afterwards. A quick uh, uh, detail about the conceptual framework uh, for we thought for the conceptual framework that we need to define a, uh, we, ha we need to have a definition of social inclusion which we can work with. The definition we chose was a process by which efforts are made to ensure equal opportunities for all, regardless of their background, so that, that they can achieve their full potential in life. Uh, in this way, inclusion is a multidimensional process that aims to create conditions that enable the full and active participation of every member of society in all aspects of life, as well as, as their uh, participation in the decision-making processes, which goes beyond improving access to services. The, conce the conceptual framework then was further linked to the legal framework of the human rights to water and sanitation and the political framework of the no one, leave no one behind of the SDGs. For the operational uh, framework, we look at the different uh, steps of the program cycle and questions that we need to ask ourselves in each uh, step with regard to, look at, uh, to inclusion. For the uh, sake of time, I would not be able to uh, to, to uh, go through details into all the questions, but I would mention a few of them. Uh, for during the assessment phase, it is very uh, essential that, that we look at uh, who are likely to be left behind and excluded from what, in which setting, 
at which scale and what are the root causes for their exclusion and why. During the planning and design, it's uh, very important that, that uh, uh, we we look at how to overcome the inequalities in the uh, in terms of service delivery levels and who needs to be involved and how to address the root causes. During the implementation, uh, it is very important that all the uh, all the relevant stakeholders, including local governments and uh, envision target groups, are included. Uh, in the process of the decision making and that, that uh, also a contractual agreement have certain clauses on how to address social inclusion and its root causes in the during implementation. It is also uh, very important for the monitoring that, that the targets and indicators are set in the beginning during the design uh, of the program and uh, also that, that they are monitor to ensure that, that those who were envisioned to profit from the uh, program are actually profiting. And the experiences and uh, lessons learned needs to be documented and used as, a, as evidence to improve WASH policies and approaches to be more socially inclusive. Uh, major findings that I would like to share with you about uh, strategies, teams and, and levels of intervention. We found out that most organizations have realized the importance of devising their program strategies in alignment with the Leave No One Behind agenda and thus prioritize excluded groups. However, the description of these groups are often formulated in broad terms, uh, such as ultra poor, most marginalized, with different with little detail on who this uh, target group are. Uh, and uh, also uh, this, the mapped organization realized that beyond relevant program objective, specific policy goals and targets are needed for reaching excluded groups that are not on, uh, to be included in the WASH programs and in the decision making processes. And with regard to analyzing and program and project development decision making, uh, we noticed that, that a large number of tools for identifying the excluded and barriers to social inclusion are already available. Each organization partaking in this mapping uh, study promotes and uses their own tool, each of which has a slightly different scope and purpose. And uh, many of the organizations uh, emphasize the importance of involving and engaging with youth players and the national and or local government in this uh, during the analysis phase especially. And uh, this is very critical for them to uh, take uh, the ownership. During the planning and design, what we notice is that, that many organizations see a need for including awareness raising for implementers of WASH program uh, in the planning and design phase so they can better understand the barriers to inclusion and the implication this could have for effective, efficient and sustainable implementation of WASH programs. During the implementation phase, most uh, organizations employ different approaches to social inclusion, uh, but uh, the, the focus and levels are different, so uh, the, each of, needs, of these needs to be complemented uh, with, uh, together or in the uh, multidisciplinary approaches to if, if WASH investments are to reduce inequality in sustainable human development outcomes. Regarding to monitoring, evaluation and learning, uh, certain specific tools are available for monitoring and some include indicators, but uh, some are for monitoring at project level, some are only for determined dimensions, some are aimed at a larger scale. But uh, what is very important is that, that there is a need for clear project targets for social inclusion and a specific criteria or indicators that would help in monitoring project progress. Some of the challenges and dilemmas uh, that, that the uh, mapped uh, organizations are facing uh, is that um, 
there is a wide gap between policies, approaches, and opportunities to implement. Uh, often the, mm, the map dr adequately mapping the drivers of marginalization and assessing the need of the local communities requires relatively substantial and dedicated human and financial resources, which often gets ignored uh, or uh, often are not prioritized in the WASH programs. And um, also there is a, uh, as I mentioned also as uh, in the findings that, that the uh, criteria of the, def the definition of the social inclusions uh, or who are excluded is often not specific enough to get to those who are uh, left behind. Um, there's a very high, high need for awareness raising for social inclusion and ensuring organization and government agencies recognize that sustainable impact demands great and continuous effort and requires a significant change in the mindset at all the social levels. Um, uh, again, there is a, a important role of the government at both national and local level uh, to play, but often they also lack uh, capacity, resources, and uh, uh, focus to work on the social inclusion. Um, also, when working with excluded people, often the perceived I, uh, opinion is that, that they, the programs would uh, cost more. So then, the, uh, in that sense, they aren't, but they wouldn't be cost effective if you work uh, with marginalized or excluded groups. Um, improving uh, uh, and integration of the different tools and frameworks that are being developed by funding and implementing organization into national or existing local sector monitoring system is, uh, is essential, but at the same time it's very complex and requires uh, substantial resources. Further, failing to define clear social inclusion targets in design phases makes measuring the result for social inclusion in later stage uh, quite difficult. Uh, some, of the conc uh, some of the conclusions that we draw was that, that awareness raising on the need of for addressing social inclusion as precondition for achieving SDG is very essential. There is a gap between the strategies and real opportunities for implementation. And, but uh, at the same time, there is a wide range of approaches and tools which are available, and you can also see those in the Annex 5 of the report. We also noticed that, that uh, the operational model that uh, we developed proved to be a systematic way of uh, assessing social inclusion in WASH programming cycle, and it also helped us uh, very much during this uh, study. I would like to thank you for your attention and I look forward to any questions during the question uh, section of the program.